Hello, my name is Eric from CNL Aerospace, and today we are going to demonstrate the CT7 transport adapter. The CT7 transport adapter, part number CL2C90501G01, is designed to support the engine assembly or the power unit assembly during engine and PGB maintenance activity. Please note, the following instructions are based on the premise that the engine assembly or the power unit assembly has been removed from the aircraft in accordance with the manufacturer's approved maintenance manuals. To reduce the possibility of power unit and or PGB damage, it is recommended that at least two people assist the lifting device operator while installing or removing an engine or power unit assembly from the transport adapter. Before installing the engine or power unit assembly onto the transport adapter, it is necessary to prepare the transport adapter for use. First, loosen the four bolts located at the aft mount of the adapter and slide the mount to the most forward position. Second, remove the lower mount aft adapter from the transport adapter and attach to the power unit lower midframe located at approximately the 5 and 7 o'clock positions using the hardware provided. Third, remove the PGB anti-rotation fixture from the transport adapter and install on the PGB lower mount pad using the inclusive four bolts. Be sure the fixture bumper is facing forward before the bolts are tightened securely. Center the U-shaped PGB support assembly laterally on the four bearing pins. Loosen the locking knobs for the PGB support pins and slide the pins outboard for PGB strut bracket clearance. Loosen the carriage lock located on the forward left side of the carriage assembly for free fore and aft travel. The transport adapter is now ready to accept the engine assembly. Using a suitable lifting device and the engine hoist adapter part number CL2C90509G01, center the engine assembly over the transport adapter. Slowly lower the engine assembly into the transport adapter until the power unit lower mount aft adapter is aligned with the holes on the lower aft mount of the stand. Caution. This procedure requires constant attention to the lateral clearances between the transport adapter and the engine assembly. Failure to monitor this clearance could cause damage to the engine assembly and or the transport adapter. Install the two quick release pins provided through the aft adapter and lower aft mount. Move the PGB support assembly until fore aft alignment between the PGB strut brackets and PGB support pins is obtained. Slide the PGB support pins inboard until the locating pins are in line with the webbed tooling hole found in the PGB strut bracket. Continue to slowly lower the engine assembly until the adapter PGB support pins engage the PGB strut bracket. It may be necessary for additional fore aft or lateral adjustment before the pins and brackets engage. Check the forward PGB strut brackets of the power unit for alignment to the transport adapter mid support arms. It may be necessary to raise the engine assembly with the lifting device and manually adjust the location of the transport adapter at the mid support arms. Once the engine assembly is properly mounted at the aft, mid and forward positions, each attach point can now be secured. Aft mount. Securely tighten the four bolts in the transport adapter aft mount plate. Mid support arms. Slide left and right locking clamp over the PGB strut bracket and securely tighten the bolt. PGB support pins. Slide left and right locking clamp over the PGB strut bracket and securely tighten the bolt. 
Disconnect the engine hoist adapter from the engine assembly and raise the hoist adapter with the lifting device until it clears the engine assembly. Slowly move the engine hoist adapter with the lifting device to a secure location. Using a suitable lifting device and the power unit hoist adapter CL290500G02, laterally center the power unit assembly over the transport adapter. Slowly lower the power unit assembly into the transport adapter until the power unit lower mount aft adapter is aligned with the holes on the lower aft mount of the stand. Caution. This procedure requires constant attention to the lateral clearances between the transport adapter and the power unit assembly. Failure to monitor this clearance could cause damage to the power unit assembly and or the transport adapter. Install the two quick release pins provided through the aft adapter and lower aft mount. Continue to slowly lower the power unit assembly until the forward PGB strut brackets are supported by the transport adapter mid support arms. Slide the mid support arm locking clamps over the PGB strut brackets and tighten each locking bolt. Note, it may be necessary for additional fore aft or lateral adjustment in order to center the PGB strut brackets with the mid support arm clamps. Tighten the transport adapter lower aft mount bolts. Disconnect the power unit hoist adapter from the power unit assembly and raise the lifting device until it clears the power unit assembly. Slowly move the power unit hoist adapter with the lifting device to a secure location. Before separating the power unit from the PGB, it may be necessary to make alignment adjustments to the engine assembly in the transport adapter. These adjustment points are located at the following positions. Carriage assembly lock, located on the forward left side of the transport adapter carriage assembly, allows fore and aft travel of the PGB and attached components during maintenance activity which may include mating and or separation of the PGB assembly. PGB support assembly, U-shaped attachment mounted to the transport adapter carriage assembly, Linear bearings rest on four pins to allow lateral movement of the PGB assembly. PGB support pins. Located on the upper arms of the PGB support assembly, these pins allow the PGB to be centered in the PGB support assembly. Vertical lock. Located on the carriage assembly vertical mount, used to lock the PGB support assembly after the PGB has been leveled with reference to the power unit. Please note, these instructions are intended to describe how to use the CT7 transport adapter. These instructions are not intended nor should they be used to perform maintenance activities on an aircraft article. Please consult with the article's approved maintenance manual for performing maintenance on that article.